Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me for this Spring Haul 2022. Today I will be sharing lots of effortless chic style outfit ideas with everything that's new in my wardrobe. I shopped at H&M, Cezanne, Coz, Arquette, independent brands Flattered and Rosé Paris, also Shopbop and Weekday. And if that wasn't enough, I've also got some stunning new pieces of jewellery to show you all from the beautiful collection at Carrot London. It's an exciting haul if I do say so myself. So sit back, relax, and let me share all the best pieces from the designers, the high street and beyond, and how I would style them for spring. So let's start with Shopbop, a website that's full to the brim of all my favourite independent labels. Plus you've also got the big hitters like Balenciaga, Chloe and Johanna Ortiz, should budget allow. However, I stayed under the £150 mark and I found this gorgeous spring summer dress. I've been keeping my eye out for something that would tick the cutout fashion trend for 2022 but I didn't want to go down that road if it meant bearing half my midriff or my chest. Not that I have much to show, but still. So when I spotted this subtle cutout dress, I thought it fit the bill perfectly. Now you're actually ticking a few different trends at once with something like this. White maxi dresses, of course, are hugely on trend. It's got that lovely long minimalist shape that we've been seeing a lot of recently. And these small cutouts at the waistband give a nod to the trend, but without it feeling overpowering. I also love the gentle puff sleeve the tiny bit of stretch to the fabric, and the fact that it's lined, meaning I don't have to worry about it being see-through. One thing to note, however, is that VAT isn't included in the prices you see when you're shopping on their website. It's added into the basket afterwards. Now that's not terrible, of course, we're all used to paying VAT, but something to remember when you are shopping on there. Saying that, shipping was free and quick, and I shall definitely be shopping with them again. A good experience all round. Next in the spring haul for 2022, to a piece I knew the second I saw it, I would be able to mix and match it into so many different outfit ideas. One super minimal pencil skirt. Mini skirts might be one of the big fashion trends this season, but the reality is I rarely wear them. Something much more of a safe bet for me would be a midi or maxi length. And going super minimal with the shape definitely ticks a different trend box instead. I love how it sits high on my waist, skims over my hips, and although it is a pencil shape, it doesn't feel ridiculously tight to walk in. Like I mentioned, it's pieces like this that I find so easy to switch up. Wear it with a cami and kitten heels for the evening, sandals and a tee or a vest top for daytime effortless chic. And it's really easy to make this work for the office too. Maybe add a lovely blouse or even a blazer. In fact, I think I can already think of about 10 different ways to wear it. So maybe I should do a dedicated video on that one soon. Do let me know in the comments section if that's something you'd like to see. All in all, it's a pretty simple outfit, but I really think it's that simplicity that allows the quality of those individual elements to really shine through. I needed some new spring sandals in my wardrobe, but everything I'd found up to this date was either too high in height or too expensive for my wardrobe. Then the new summer collection launched at independent brand Flattered, and I added this pair to basket within about five minutes flat. So I went for these small block heeled sandals with the contrasting caramel straps. You could go for them in plain black if you wish, but I thought that camel tone would work best with the majority of my rail. You might remember these bally flats and flat sandals that I bought from them last summer, both of which looking in beautiful condition considering I've worn them on repeat. So I knew that I would be getting the quality I was after for my pennies. As always, I would love to hear your favourite piece that I bought and your favourite way I've styled it in the comments section below. So as you saw in that last outfit idea, I've had the great pleasure of choosing a couple of favourite pieces from the new collection at Carrot London. If you're not familiar with the brand, they're a London-based creator of fashion and fine jewellery, known well around the world for the finest non-mined gemstones and gentle diamonds. Choosing non-mined or laboratory-created diamonds is a much more sustainable and ethical choice for your jewellery collections. 
Now you might have spotted me wearing these beautiful pieces in some recent videos of mine. I already have the tennis bracelet with these delicate carrot stones that goes all the way around and those stunning stud earrings to match, which have been made from a cluster of delicate stones that just kind of catches the light a bit as you move. Very pretty. All from Carrot London and all just adding that subtle sparkle to my outfit ideas. I've actually been wearing these on a day-to-day -day basis, certainly not just saving them for best. It is the season for a little bit of daytime sparkle after all, so this is how I will be introducing that trend. New from my collection, I decided to choose from the handcrafted 9 carat yellow gold range, and I went for this really elegant necklace with matching bracelet. I always seem to naturally veer towards these very subtle details, the essence of effortless chic for me. I think if you can say it in a subtle style, why wouldn't you? I'm getting that sprinkle of gold I love within my outfit ideas, but they're also the sort of thing I could wear, like the bracelet and the studs before, within my everyday outfit ideas. The earrings I'm wearing there are actually turning into an everyday staple for me. Made from polished yellow gold vermeil, they're small enough to feel effortless on a day-to-day -day basis. Now everything arrives beautifully packaged in a lovely box with ribbons, so they'd make a wonderful present for someone too, one that I'm sure you would actually want to keep for yourself. Here I am wearing the most stunning nine carat white gold baby cocktail ring. Now it has these two triangle cut stones either side and then this amazing 70 facet gemstone in the center. I think this ring is absolutely divine and I would wear it either beside my platinum wedding ring or on the other hand with my mum's gold. I love both of those mixtures together. Their designs are very original, they are hugely ethical and sustainable in their approach and are also really lovely people too, which just makes me want to champion their brand even more. As you would hope, I do have a discount code for you all. I've written that plus a link to their website in the description box below for you to have a browse at the end of this video. There's a running theme throughout this video, as you've probably gathered, I'm really loving suits at the moment. And for this spring haul 2022, more of the lightweight variety. I just find them so incredibly versatile. I mix and match them as separates. I love the look of them together and they always make my outfits feel polished and elevated. This is a slightly different option for me, but one that I think will become a bit of a favorite the warmer the weather gets. A matching shorts and blazer suit made from a blend of linen. This was a trend that was actually really big last spring summer, but a bit like chunky sandals and straw bags, it's going nowhere fast. I went true to size in both with a UK 10. The blazer is a little oversized already, so there's no need to size up. And I would say the shorts are very true to size. I do kind of wish the shorts had been made with a tailored waistband rather than the elastic, but saying that they're retailing at just 35 euros, so it's a fair price for what you're getting. The other suit option you saw briefly before with my new Carrot London jewelry is from H&M. Now I normally only shop at their premium or conscious collection, as I do kind of get sick of all the polyester. However, I noticed recently that even on H&M's normal range, they've started using far more sustainable fabrics, which is great to see. I've spotted recycled polyester, ecovero, viscose and cotton, so it's definitely worth keeping an eye on that range too for the odd gem. Now I went true to size with both the blazer and the trousers with this suit. I would say the blazer is a perfect fit, but I personally would have liked a little bit more room in those trousers. So it might be worth ordering a size up as well if you like them too, and then you can see which you like the fit of best. I have long championed the importance of having a beautiful trench coat in your own capsule wardrobe. And so for this spring haul 2022, I have put my money where my mouth is and I've invested in a navy option for myself. Timeless in shape, beautiful in quality, and elegant in style, I knew this would be a worthwhile spend for my closet, and I absolutely love it. I already have this exact trench coat in the camel, and again, like before, I sized up to a UK 12, so it felt a little bit oversized. But wearability-wise, I know I will be getting my uses out of this coat for years to come. Styling-wise, I love it in so many different ways, to be honest but I thought I would share two of my favorites today. 
The first, as you'll have seen, is very tonal. This second outfit idea is more tailored, of course, and a little bit French. Both something I love to integrate into my outfit ideas. By sizing up in this trench coat, it enables me to use it for the majority of the year, adding jumpers or a cardigan in autumn and spring, yet it's light enough to wear with a t-shirt underneath for when it's a little bit warmer outside. But really the joy of this particular trench coat over others that I found and the reason that I've gone for two of them now is because of the quality and the shape. I love the weight of cotton they've used. It feels really substantial. I like the button line details on the shoulders and the cuffs and the raglan sleeves allowing it to drape beautifully over my shape. In my humble opinion, it's a classic staple for your wardrobe made to perfection. Now I've been looking for a lovely new belt now for about six months, I think, and I finally found just what I was after at Arquette. I wouldn't say I am particularly fussy, but I think doing this job actually makes the choice of what's out there so much more vast because I am constantly looking at clothes. Anyhow, I got there in the end. I love this neutral tone they've used for the braided leather and the very nature of that design it enables me to style it either at my waist or my hips depending on what I'm wearing. As with the majority of Arquette's leather pieces, this belt has been made using the sustainable chrome-free tanning process. And I always rate the quality of their ranges too. In fact, I loved it so much that I went back and bought the mules to match. These remind me of something the beautiful Italian brand Bottega Veneta might make, but it has to be said at a fraction of the price. I've styled that with my straight leg jeans to keep the look very clean and minimal, and really so I could let the belts, the mules, and the handbag be the stars of the show. Outfit ideas like this are often my favorites, to be honest. They're simple in nature, they're really easy to recreate, and hopefully you agree they look effortlessly chic in the process. You got a sneak peek earlier of this gorgeous striped jumper, but it's honestly too nice not to get a special mention all for itself. Another item from Rosé Paris for this spring haul 2022. For those days when you're willing on the sunshine, but there's definitely still a chill in the air. How original is that shoulder detail? I absolutely love it. Made from 90% merino wool and 10% cashmere, as you can imagine, it is beautifully soft. But really the detail that makes this item stand out from the rest would have to be those sharp shoulders. What is essentially an extra layer of rib helps to give you more of an hourglass shape. Out at the shoulders, in at the waist, for example, and then out again at the hips. Those wider shoulders help to balance out my shape and I really love the contrast. So I've styled it here with my straight leg jeans, belt to cinch in my waist and enable me to tuck the jumper in a little bit neater. Ankle boots would work with this, but I've gone for loafers today as it's a little bit warmer. Simple touches of jewelry to keep it really effortless and elegant, and my classic handbag to finish. A new go-to look for me. Don't forget to click the link in the description box below to take a look at the Carrot London collection in full. And if you do decide to spoil yourself or maybe somebody else, don't forget to use that discount code as well. I really hope this spring haul for 2022 has given you lots of outfit ideas and inspiration. And hopefully this video has proved you don't need to go super high end to have a sprinkle of effortless chic in your outfits. Buy a little more savvy, shop around, or let me do the shopping for you, and invest in those pieces that are really worth the pennies, but won't break the bank. Thank you, as always, to everyone who's subscribed to my channel, and for all your love and support. It's much appreciated. Hopefully you'll join me next Sunday for lots more fashion advice and styling ideas. Have a great week, everyone. Take care. Cute. Sorry, he's just staring at me. I can't do it. Mandu, I'm busy.